The infamous Jeep Wrangler SUV has a very interesting blend of retro styling, off-road prowess, along with a wide array of features and also technologies. And as for the all-new 2023 model year, the Jeep Wrangler will offer two uniquely named color options, such as Rain, a purple hue, and Earl, a gray color with hints of aquamarine. But are its specs going to be worth the price tag? Let's find out. From its very beginnings, the fan favorite Jeep Wrangler has told a patriotic story, drawing inspiration from the military Willys Jeeps, which actually helped the Allies achieve victory in World War II. Ever since then, the Jeep Wrangler has taken on civilian form and now has a few tires in the luxury market regarding both its price and the amazing features. Various fuel-swigging powertrains as well as two-body styles help give the Jeep Wrangler broad appeal. The all-new 2023 Jeep Wrangler will offer two new exterior paint color options. For purple lovers, there's a limited edition rain color. And for a much more stoic look and for lovers of black tea, there's also earl gray color with an aquamarine tint. The all-new 2023 Wrangler offers a Freedom Edition model and new color options. Notable features of the Wrangler Freedom Edition include an interesting military-themed exterior and the interior design cues, rock rails, a steel front bumper, as well as an American flag decal. Also, the trims offered for the new 2023 Jeep Wrangler will include Sport, Sport S, Rubicon, Sport RHD, 4XE Rubicon, Sahara, 4XE Sahara, and also Rubicon 392. Also, the standard version of the Jeep Wrangler will offer two-door and four-door models, while the Wrangler 4XE will only offer a four-door version. Indeed, there is no doubt the new Jeep Wrangler will be a beast when it comes to off-road prowess. That's mainly the case with the Wrangler's Rubicon trim, its 33-inch tires and lockable differentials. However, the everyday steering and the handling might suffer as the traditional body-on-frame construction, its amazingly solid axle suspension and old-school steering. The brake pedal travel is long and great for modulation off-road, but could be better for everyday driving. The standard 285 horsepower 3.6 liter V6 from the previous generation Jeep Wrangler will make its way under the bonnet of the new Jeep, which can be paired with a 6-speed manual gearbox or even a smooth shifting 8-speed automatic. Also, a turbocharged 4-cylinder engine will be optional and will team up with an electric motor to give additional low-end power. Adding to the standard V6 and optional 4-cylinder hybrid, the all-new Jeep Wrangler can sport with a 3.6-liter V6 with almost the same hybrid assist, a 3.0-liter diesel V6, a 375-horsepower plug-in hybrid 4XE powertrain, and a hearty 6.4-liter V8 will also be available. Usually, Jeep Wranglers are born off-road ready, and so part-time four-wheel drive will be standard across the range and it is powered by a lever on the center console. In its testing, the base two-door Wrangler Sport with a V6 as well as a six-speed manual transmission accelerated from zero to almost 60 miles per hour in the first 6.1 seconds, and a well-equipped four-door Sahara variant with the automatic transmission did the job in about 6.8 seconds. The Rubicon V8 variant comes with its 470 horsepower engine, which powers through a quarter mile in 13.0 seconds and will hit 60 miles per hour in just 4.5 seconds. Also, the four door Sahara was slightly quicker at 6.5 seconds to around 60 miles per hour with a four cylinder hybrid powertrain. The Rubicon and High Tide models, both of which carry extra weight in the form of heavier duty off roading equipment, weren't as quick as the others in its testing. The performance at the test track showed that the Wrangler JL is much improved when it is compared with the previous model. However, at the same time, it is barely holding steady with its rivals in some metrics. Although its handling has improved, it is still truck-like when you compare it with today's refined SUVs and pickups. But still, the ride in the four-door is acceptably smooth over the rough surfaces. However, the braking distances were a bit inconsistent between its two test vehicles. Moreover, in this year's segment of gas guzzlers, it does not take much to be at the top of its class. The all-new 2023 Jeep Wrangler's EPA fuel economy estimates put it ahead of competitors such as the Bronco and also the 4Runner. The most fuel-efficient version sports the diesel engine that tops out at 22 mpg in the city and 29 on the highway. 
Also, the V6-powered four-door Wrangler Sahara returned a 20 mpg result on its 75 miles per hour on the highway fuel economy route, up to 3 mpg fewer than its average EPA rating for highway fuel economy. Also, the turbocharged four-cylinder hybrid model fared much better, delivering 26 mpg, 2 mpg more than expected. If tackling trails under electric-only power appeals to you, then the 4XE powertrain is the apparent choice. The 17.0 kilowatt-hour battery pack is said to provide up to 25 miles of electric-only driving. But Jeep says that's enough for a few hours of low-speed off-roading. When the battery runs out, the turbocharged four-cylinder can drive all four wheels like a normal Wrangler, so you need to be reassured about being stranded with a charge. Inside, the front seats are also well-shaped and remain livable on long trips. The back bench is flatter and much firmer, but it reclines a bit. Car experts have liked the effective climate system, which will also feature rear air vents. However, the body and frame construction that gives the Wrangler its ready-for-anything personality contributes to a brittle ride on almost anything but the most even road surfaces. Also, the boxy design and large tires create wind and road noise, although it offers a quieter cabin than previous Wranglers. The hard top is still significantly quieter than the soft top. Even though there are many controls, mainly in the Rubicon variant and its numerous adjustments for off-road driving, also, its layout is refreshingly intuitive. The slender pillars along with the square windows greatly reduce blind spots. The driving position is fairly upright. However, there is a useful range of adjustment from its seat and steering wheel. And the soft top's new design, which will make it easier to remove than the previous Jeep Wrangler. Due to the Jeep Wrangler's high stance, most users will need to use the grab handles to get inside. Car experts were not impressed by the amount of interior room. The new Wrangler has less shoulder and leg room than its rivals. The Jeep Wrangler's narrow body is an off-road strength, but it will limit ultimate cargo capacity. There is also a decent amount of cargo space, but rivals offer a bit more. Up front, there are not many places to store small items, and the pockets of the door pockets are shallow nets. Even so, if you want to carry extra stuff, the rear seats fold neatly into the floor. There are six rugged tie-down points and also an underfloor compartment. The Wrangler seats are easy to fit in the unlimited variant. So long as they are not too bulky, users might have to move the front seat forward to fit a back-facing seat. Also, the Jeep Wrangler can tow up to 3,500 pounds and it can be flat-towed behind a motorhome. The Jeep Wrangler is surprisingly modern regarding infotainment and smartphone integration. The optional 8.4-inch Uconnect system will offer sharp graphics with quick responses and will have one of the best infotainment systems in the car industry. There are plenty of charging ports in USB and USB-C options will be available. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone integration, which comes standard with a Wrangler 7 and 8.4-inch touchscreens. The Jeep Wrangler falters when it comes to advanced driving systems. Drivers can get some features such as blind spot monitoring. However, users won't find high technology aids like automatic emergency braking or lane keeping assist. The starting price of the all new 2023 Jeep Wrangler SUV will range from $30,295 for the sport trim up to $79,995 for the Rubicon 392 trim. The starting price for the 2023 Wrangler 4XE plug-in hybrid is $54,765 MSRP for the Sahara trim and $58,595 for the Rubicon trim. Also, the all-new 2023 Jeep Wrangler costs slightly more than the 2022 Wrangler. The standard Jeep Wrangler from 2022 has a starting price of almost $29,995 while the 2022 Jeep Wrangler 4XE had a starting price of $54,595. The SUV competitors of the new 2023 Wrangler include the Ford Bronco, Toyota 4Runner, Land Rover Defender, and the Subaru Outback. Also, for warranty coverage, the 2023 Jeep Wrangler has a 3-year per 36,000-mile basic warranty and even a 5-year per 60,000-mile powertrain warranty. Also, the new Wrangler will have a free maintenance plan with three years of coverage. The new Wrangler basically looks like a Jeep, which puts real effort into the interior. The dash as well as seat materials are attractive and have a good tactile feel. And much of the switchgear looks a bit distinct and is satisfying to use. 
The all-new 2023 Jeep Wrangler's price tag is a little high. However, the improved materials and design feel worth the cost. Jeep's warranty coverage is average. What are your thoughts on the all-new Jeep Wrangler 2023? Let us know in the comments section down below. Thanks for watching and see you again soon in another video.